Well, thanks for stopping by the channel and checking out the video. And this uh, video is another one uh, for the longer ray 5 10 watt uh, diode laser. And in this video here, I'm just going to be showing you how I set up um, doing jigs and templates for repeatable uh, repeatable jobs, uh, whether you're doing coasters or keychains or whatnot. Uh, just showing you how I uh, how I go ahead and set that up in Lightburn. And just to show you some of the other capabilities here for the longer ray 5. Okay, well hopefully you can see my screen okay. I don't have video capture software set up on this computer yet, so I just have to use my camera to uh, to show you the screen. Hopefully it's not too blurry for you, but uh, basically I did a little bit of uh, setting up already on the workspace here of what, um, what I'm going to be doing here and showing you. Uh, this out, outer box here, um, this is the overall work area of the, the uh, longer ray 5 10 watt. And uh, this inner square here, I uh, have it locked in place, but this is the overall uh, work area of my honeycomb bed. I have uh, the honeycomb bed that I have here is uh, a little bit, a couple inches smaller than the overall work area of the machine, but uh, it'll be good for this purpose here just to show you what I'm doing. And uh, this here, uh, these shapes here that are highlighted in red is going to be my jig, my removable jig. Um, right now I'm just going to be cutting it through cardboard. Uh, I'm not going to use a piece of, I usually I would use a piece of birch plywood for this, but <clears throat> for this demonstration I'm just going to use a piece of cardboard, which works just fine. I've used cardboard before and there's no issues with the cardboard. Plus it's a lot cheaper and I don't like wasting uh, big sheets of uh, birch plywood um, just for jigs that I might only use a couple of times. So, uh, but anyway, here, um, this is, this big red square here is going to be the size of my removable jig. And this is set at, this is set at uh, 13 inches uh, wide by 12 inches high. And now I have these little uh, T-shaped tabs here, and I just want to show you, you know, how to go ahead and, and get the tabs in here. So that way you can make multiple different jigs to fit inside of this overall space right here and I'll go ahead and unlock that and just kind of give it a color code so you can see it better so that's blue so this is going to be your uh, the work area of the honeycomb panel and then this red square here is going to be the removable jig so then basically you're just going to create um, two squares or a rectangle and a square and uh, you're just going to weld them together and I'll show you show you how I did that here. So I just put three three of these T-shaped tabs here at the top. You can put as many as you want in there, but I think three will be fine. So for that purpose here, and I'll just show you on one of them here close up. So you're basically just going to highlight both of them and hit the weld button there and it's going to join those two shapes together. And the same for these other two over here. So go ahead and do that. Weld those together. So now I have my removable jig uh, ready to go. So then off to the side here, I already have some shapes set up. Um, different sizes for the things. I have some circular coasters here. And I'll go ahead and highlight those in red since I'm going to be cutting those out. So I have those in cut out. I have a couple uh, circular coasters, square coasters here down at the bottom for some business cards. Um, these are here are for for um, dog tags like military style dog tags and these here smaller rectangles are for pet tags, the bone shaped pet tags and then these circles are for just uh, the anodized aluminum uh, like keychain tags for labeling keys or locks or whatever else. So. Now I already have these laid out in the pattern that I want to put them in, but you could pretty much do it any way you want, or you can make this all, all for large coasters, all for square coasters, whatever. Um, business cards. I do have other on my other one of my other machines. I have this set up to do um, 50 of these little round 
circles here that I was making tokens for a Halloween haunted trail uh, for, for last October. So again, <clears throat> you can set this up any way you like. But I've already got this all set up here in the pattern that I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this over here so it'll fit right in there. So now I'm pretty much ready to go. And for starters, I'll cut out the um, the overall jig pattern or outline. So I'm going to go ahead and for the overall work area, I'm going to go ahead and mark that black and then lock that into position so I know that that doesn't move. And then the rest of these here, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of black these out also just so that it doesn't cut for that this moment right here. I want to make sure I have my jig lined up first. So I'll go ahead and set the camera up on the machine and we'll run this one first. Okay, so I'm all ready to go for the overall uh, cutting of the outline of the jig. And I'm going to be cutting this as cardboard, just a basic cardboard I ordered from Staples Office Superstore. And it's uh, 3 millimeters or 1 inch thick. So I'm going to be cutting this at 35 inches a minute and 75% power. So I'll go ahead and get that started. And just a little bit more, I'll move this back here just so you can kind of see. Now this should just pop right out. There you go. Alright, so it's a little tight, but uh, as you can see there, the little tabs at the top. So now you can make multiples of these here. And um, you know, for whatever purposes you want, for coasters, uh, like I said, business cards, whatever, um, holiday ornaments, anything like that. So this will work out pretty well. I'll go ahead and I'm going to put this back in. And uh, I'll go ahead and get it set up to cut out all the shapes. Okay, well there you see again, uh, have everything set up ready to go. And there I had it cutting that. 35 inches a minute and 75% power. I think I'm just going to bump that up just a little bit. See how that does at 50 inches a minute. So I think I should be able to cut just fine going that fast. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of black this out. Oops, I'm going to go ahead and, and highlight these. I know there's another way you could do this by signing different color codes and turning them on and off. But yeah, I'm just going to do it this way here. So there I go. So, okay, so I have everything set up. I'm going to do two round coasters, square coasters, business card templates, and then keychain dog tags. So I'll go ahead and uh, get the camera set up again on the machine and we'll cut this out. Okay, well as you can see there are a couple of my circles up there up top. Uh, got a little too close to the top uh, as when I had the camera uh, paused and turned off there I bumped the, uh, bumped the machine and it uh, kind of moved my starting point a little bit. But uh, for purposes here it's fine. So just, I don't know if you can see that but I'll go ahead and uh, slide the laser back there. You can, might be able to see a little better up here. The circles kind of got a little close to the top. But no big deal. Um, again, it'll still work just fine. Okay, well, I have everything ready to go here. I have some coasters and uh, business cards and everything in there. And I'll show you here, I have a couple designs here. I'm not going to do all of them, just uh, one of each one, just to kind of show you what the uh, longer Ray 5 can do. So I'll uh, go ahead and get that started up.
Okay, well, as you can see there, uh, I did stop the video there just from doing the other last coaster there just to save some time on the length of the video. But as you can see here, I think it did pretty well here on the business card. And I'll post the, uh, the speeds and feeds uh, that I had on there for that. And the coaster there. Uh, it's not quite centered. I think it's off by like a sixteenth of an inch on the center side to side, but I think it turned out pretty good. Just a little bit of cleaning up uh, with some water and, a, and an old old toothbrush, and that those little burn marks will come right off. And then you can see here the um, anodized aluminum tags. Got a little bit of darkness on the edges of it there. I'm not sure if that's from having the air assist running. I probably should have turned off the air um, and it may have evenly burned, but again, it burned pretty well on the business card, so maybe I just need to adjust the settings for these thicker types of aluminum pieces. So I think it turned out pretty well, and the jig should work out really well there, as you can see a little bit closer up. The tabs at the top and just the way it's laid out there. And I did have to put a little bit of tape around the bottoms here, around the edges. I did have some up here just because the cardboard was starting to uh, curl up a little bit. But other than that, it turned out pretty well. Again, this is a longer ray 5, 10 watt diode laser. So if you do have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to let me know. But I think this, again, this is a really nice starter machine, entry level machine, uh, very inexpensive. Um, to get you started on a laser engraving business or hobby whatnot so I think you uh, definitely can't go wrong with this machine so again any questions or concerns feel free to let me know or any tips at all uh, let me know too and other than that uh, thanks for watching and I should have uh, another video for the longer ray coming out here pretty soon going to do another Another project with that, so uh, look out for that video coming up soon. And uh, again, thanks for watching.